Welcome to Cartoon Planet, everybody. My name is Brack. I am the star of the show. I know it. You know it. I know it. You know it. I know it. You know it. Hey! And what? Here's the deal, Brack. I'm the boss. You're nothing. Get it? Big deal. Bite of nothing. What? Never mind. I'm a mean motor scooter. I'm a pillager and looter. I'm a low-down Rudy Tudor. I'm a mean motor scooter. Yeah. Breck, did, did you like that? Hey, that, that, that was nice. Hey, Zorak, was that your chicken sandwich in the refrigerator? Yeah. Why do you ask? Because I ate it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Breck, tell me you didn't eat my chicken sandwich. All right, I didn't eat your chicken sandwich. <sighs> but you did, didn't you? Yes. Even though it was in a brown paper bag with big letters on the side. Z-O-R-A-K. Do you know what that spells? Oh, uh, there's a yummy chicken sandwich in here and you need to eat it? Ah! Well, I wouldn't have eaten it if I knew it was yours. I thought it was Space Ghost. Oh, and it would be perfectly fine to eat my chicken sandwich. Yours was a ham sandwich. How do you know that? Because I ate that, too. What? I was hungry. Well, now, what are Zorak and I going to have for lunch? Why don't you order a pizza? They won't deliver up here anymore. Maybe because they don't like being bitten. Hey, that guy bit me first. Whatever. Well, I guess this is one of those bad news, good news situations. The bad news is both of your sandwiches got eaten. And the good news is I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> maybe. Maybe still just a little bit hungry. I guess I'll go eat my own sandwich. Let's get it. Oh, boy, you guys get, get away from my olive loaf. Today is Aquarius. Hey, Aquarius, who do you think you are, Aquaman? Get out of the tub already. Nothing wrong with bathing every now and then, but people are starting to talk about how much time you're spending in the tub. What are you doing in there anyway? You better stop singing that stupid Age of Aquarius song and start singing Super Free, because that's what you're turning into, buddy. Before the teacher and I hid behind some shelves, 
And when the teacher called my name for attendance, I didn't say anything until about halfway through class, I jumped up and yelled, Just kidding, I'm here! <laughs> oh boy! And I ran and hid behind the door, and the teacher started to talk to the class again, and I said, I'm back, fooled you again! <laughs> Oh, boy. So anyway, I, I got sent to the principal's office and got spanking. The end! Roses are red, roses are blue. It's time for Poets' Corner. Yahoo! There was a little girl who had a little curl. Right in the middle of her forehead. When she was good, she was very, very good. And when she was bad, she was horrid. Um, now you see, I, I don't think that rhymes very good. Forehead, horrid. I would have said forehead, doorhead, or forehead, doorhead, or even forehead, Agnes Moorhead, or forehead, don't go to the storehead. Stop it! Make me! You're already made, and what a mess! Why do you always have to be so mean to me? The little poem that Brack read was written by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow for his daughter, who hated having her hair curled. For years, Longfellow denied that he was the author, but finally, on his deathbed in 1882, he declared, All right already! I wrote the stupid poem! Now turn the television back on and clear out of here! Henry Waterbug Longfellow had big feet. You know why? Because they were long fellows. <laughs> oh boy! Get it? You get it? Long feet. <laughs> well, when somebody told, told me that one a long time ago. But it still has the wallop. <laughs> Now, here's a tasty little nugget of joy from Zorak. On Earth, the praying mantis has many nicknames. In jolly old England, we're known as soothsayers from the Greek roots of the word mantis, meaning prophet. In the southern United States, they call us devil's rear horses due to our tendency to rear up on our hind legs when threatened. And mule killers from the false belief that the brown saliva that we emit will kill a mule. <laughs> For some strange reason, some Earthlings call us camel crickets, although we don't know why, nor do we appreciate it very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cartoon Planet is proud to present one of the great... Ladies and gentlemen, the Cartoon Planet is proud to present one of the greatest comedy minds of our century, Brack! Hey, thank you, thank you, everybody. It's nice to be here. I got some jokes to tell you tonight, so here we go. Oh, boy. Who's that lady I saw you with last night? Oh, no, just my wife. <laughs> oh, she's pretty, don't you think? <laughs> oh, a guy walked into a restaurant and said to me, I haven't had a bite in weeks, so I bought him some food. <laughs> oh, boy, the dingers just keep coming. Why did the chicken cross the road? Well, it wasn't really a road. It was the driveway, the chicken farm, and the chicken was just walking around. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, I got a million of them. Hold on, wait, wait. A man went to the doctor and he said, Doctor, it hurts when I do this. So the doctor said, Here, take this aspirin. Whoa! Oh, rim shot. Thank you, everybody. It's been nice. You've been a great audience. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Space Ghost, everyone laughs at us because we're over 19 and we watch your show. On weekends when all the others are at parties, we like, I snorted, we like to, and kids don't try this at home, we like to glue sequins to our tongues and dress up like Bragg. He's our idol. But we like you because your pants are too tight. From Sparky, Spanky, to Lula, to Lula. From Sparky, Spanky, to Lula, and Moo! Like the cow! Zorak, 
Are my pants too tight? I'd rather not say. <laughs> no, really. Are my pants too tight? Ugh, you wearing boxer shorts with the words bottoms up printed on your rear, right? Uh, uh maybe. <laughs> Say, here's a letter from J.C. and his pop. Dear Mr. Ghost, my boy J.C. and I would like to tell you that you are funny. Even if your pants are too tight. Especially when you talk in your sleep and dream that you don't have any clothes on. J.C. doesn't understand the concept of dreaming or of being out in public with no clothes on. J.C., let me just say this about that. clown and his name was Albert. Sometimes people tried to be cute and pronounce his name in French which was Albert. People did this so much that Albert started believing he was a bear. He moved to the forest of the northwestern United States to live on nuts and berries. Soon Albert became a tall, hairy man with long hair and fingernails and bare feet. Because he was an ex-clown, he had big, huge feet. Today, Albert the Clown is better known as Bigfoot. So the next time you're camping in the great Northwest, remember to raise a big, hey, dearly old Albert. Got a problem? I'm listening. The kids at school don't like me. My girlfriend says I smell. The teachers say I'm lazy. Sometimes I want to yell. Zora, can you help me? Sure, kid. Just tell old Zorak. Now, what's your problem? This mask is really itchy. My underwear's too tight. No one understands me. Yeah, right. Now it's time for Zorak's help Zorak, here's a caller with a question. Okay. Hi, Zorak. How you doing? Hanging in there, kid. Like, I have a vegetable question, okay? Of course you do. Okay, why do parents always tell you to eat your vegetables? I mean, what's the deal? 
deal? Well, the deal is vegetables are actually not too terrible if When you... I was a kid, I hated broccoli. Couldn't stand the sight of it. But as time went on, I learned to tolerate it. Even like it. Now, I can't get enough broccoli. Broccoli for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Nothing but broccoli, broccoli, and more broccoli. I like squash. For its flavor or its texture. I just like the name. Squash. 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 Squash! Broccoli! Does uh, that answer your question, kid? Uh, I think so. Thanks. Don't mention it. We'll be back next week, same time, for more of Zorax Helpful Hints. Bye-bye. Hold on, Mama. I'm on a whale. What do we want? My dear old friend Space Ghost, I hope you remember me. I am the kindergarten kid that used to watch your show every Saturday morning back in the 60s. Hey, I do remember that kid. Red hair, freckles, runny nose, fly always open. I think you are the coolest. Zorak is cool too, I guess. But what is the deal with Brack? I thought he was done for when his spaceship drifted into that nebula of Piranamite. Maybe this unfortunate event was responsible for the loss of his intellectual faculties. Brack, how did you survive that piranamite radiation barrage? I don't remember. It's all a blur. I think I just went to sleep and woke up stupid. Continuing, I have evolved into a higher life form since I was in kindergarten. But Space Ghost, you have gotten quite silly. Try not to be so silly in the future. Sincerely, Thornton P. Updike, Riverside, California, USA, Earth, Terra Solar 3, Sector 001. Thornton Updike, I'm Thornton Updike. Uh, Sector 001 is where they keep all the special cases. I see. One minute I was a happy space pirate, looting and pillaging, and then poof, I'm as dumb as a doornail. Well, that was creepy. Ugh. Hey, let's play a party game. No. We'll play 20 questions. You guys know how to play 20 questions? I think of an object, something in the room here, and you guys get 20 questions to try and guess what I'm thinking about. Doesn't that sound like fun? All righty. Zorak, you start. Can I leave? No. Brack. Are there any more cheese balls? No. Zorak. Why do you spend so much time in the bathroom? Do I smell funny? Do you think Terry Hatcher would go out with me? Can we play something else? Can I leave? Oh, all right. Forget it. Zorak, put on some music. Oh, not that same. Yes. That music. Oh, jeez. Yes. Oh, yeah. 
GoDaddy. These hepcats are wild. Zorak to channel zero. Zorak to channel zero. Come in, channel zero. Over. Zorak, what are you doing? Me? Oh, nothing. Channel zero, do you read me? The eagle wears a hat. Repeat, the eagle wears a hat. Over. What is that, code? Who are you sending a coded message to? Oh, uh, uh nobody. You're plotting some sort of evil coup de grass, aren't you? <laughs> Heavens, no! Zorak to Channel Zero. The eagle wears a hat. John has a long mustache. Over. Dwayne, your partner, run 